No! You know, for my reviews, I personally really don't like giving the premise of a movie. I really don't because in my eyes, I say to myself, either look it up before watching reviews or go into a movie blind or a TV show for that matter. And that's a belief, especially the last couple of years that I've held. And no movie has held that belief more so than Titanium. This movie is the very definition of go into it knowing absolutely nothing. I myself did watch the trailer quite a bit because they would have it on every single time that I would see an independent movie in AMC. And honestly, every time I would watch the trailer, I would say, what is this? And then I would see that it's from the director of Raw. And I was like, I love the imagery that's in the trailer. And I love the director because Raw, I was a big fan of. I only saw it one time four years ago, but it stuck. Believe me, if you haven't seen the movie, it sticks with you. So I didn't really need to know anything about this movie going into it because again, I'm there. I'm there day one. I want to see an original movie. And this movie is that. This movie is 100% original. Don't get me wrong. You've seen certain aspects of this movie in other movies before. But the way it's executed is very, very thought-provoking. Very provocative. Very original. Very uh, disturbing, honestly. Like, there were some scenes that, honestly, I found to be maybe even a bit more disturbing than Raw. And I found Raw personally to be quite disturbing. But there's just a lot of things that are hard to watch early on in the movie. And those things are honestly going to be like either a huge turnoff for viewers, which let's be honest, if you're watching this review, you're probably not like a mainstream moviegoer. If you are, then I'll say this right now, this movie probably isn't for you. Because I would say five, ten minutes into this movie, if you're not liking it, you may as well turn it off. And I... Don't believe in turning off movies, especially five, ten minutes in. I, I don't believe in that. But I think that if you are someone that's not really an adventurous film goer, and as well as a movie that has a lot of messed up stuff, then I wouldn't watch this movie personally. But the first five, ten minutes, it just has so many things that just are really hard to watch. But not only that, do such a great job of setting things up that you would see later on down the line in the movie. And honestly, it makes me want to revisit the movie even more so now. Because the first act i would say maybe even the second act there is a shift that happens halfway into the movie and it's like if you cut the movie in half you see the first act some of the second act and you see like how it's one thing and then it shifts into something else that's honestly kind of heartwarming it's like still disturbing but it somehow turns into like a heartwarming movie by the ending and that was something I was not expecting. I really wasn't. Like, the ending really, really surprised me. I, I was not expecting that. And honestly, it was like a gut punch. Because, truth be told, you're going to hear some people say that they love the movie as a whole. Or that some people love the first half more than the second half. And I de definitely get that. And honestly, if I had to decide, I would say the first half I liked more than the second. But hear me out with that. I think that that might be because, again, it's just first viewing. But what happened for me was I was engrossed. I was like, this is going to be a five to five star movie halfway into the movie. And then as it progressed, I was like, I don't know about how I feel about this tone shift. I really don't like it feels very jarring and I'm all about jarring. I, I think that jarring can be quite effective. But the way that it went about it, I just wasn't really sure. And the pacing really halted, like it slowed down a lot. And it just became something that felt more traditional even though it wasn't because by the end you realize it's not traditional so it's interesting it's an interesting film in that regards and again in terms of pacing and tone i know for myself i know i have to rewatch this movie because i feel like maybe a rewatch will make these two things smoother and maybe not issues but let's talk about the positives back to the positives now that i got the negatives out of the way and kind of flip-flops there are so many positives as i mentioned this is a very original story a very original plot you would not expect the beginning and the ending with how things end up panning out. You would not expect it. It's it's very interesting. It's very daring, I should say. And I like that. I also thought that the characters were fascinating. This is a movie that's very much so heavily focused on visual storytelling. And it has characters that really don't say that much. So you really have to focus on their facial expressions. And thankfully, we have a lead actress that does such a great job with her facial expressions. I really liked it. This movie also... 
sort of delves into a certain fetish that I was very surprised by. And I feel like you don't really get to see this kind of fetish in movies and TV shows. So I thought it was kind of fascinating. And I really have to give the director props for focusing on that early on in the movie. I really liked that. Personally, it's not my thing, but I really dug it. And speaking of which, that ties into the cinematography, which I thought was incredible. Honestly, some of the best. Neon, late, neon lace lighting, uh, long takes. There's one long take, especially, where I was like, if Fast and Furious movies were able to do this, then it would actually work out like really well for them. But there's a scene where you literally see the main character, like the environment that she's in. Um, early on and it, it sets up not only the setting but it sets up the character the type of person she is as well as just really gives you a sense of the tone of the movie early on and it's brilliant honestly it's probably like a five minute long take i would say but it's impressive stuff and there's other long takes too that are also great and again the lighting is very strong it's a great looking movie it's also just one of those movies that unfortunately won't get a 4k release but would definitely benefit from it but i'm hoping it gets a blu-ray release but it's a good looking movie for sure um, other thing I wanted to mention is that there's definitely a lot of symbolism, definitely a lot of like two plus two and the audience has to try to equal four. And then the director says, ha ha, we're adding a bunch of other math problems too. So that way it's like, it's a Rubik's cube. It's constantly changing. And I feel like depending on where you are in life, you might see certain things differently than other viewers. And I like it. Honestly, this is the best type of movie to watch with friends and everything. So that way you can all discuss it and everything. And those are the best type of movies. Those are honestly why I watch movies. So the entertainment value is there, although again, it is very hard to watch. Honestly, some scenes were really hard to watch. I had to like turn away a bit, but it's great in terms of the originality. It's great in terms of rewatchability value. I'm sure that it's going to age like a fine wine. And I feel like this, maybe more so than Raw, I might revisit even more. Because as it stands, again, Raw I haven't seen in four years just because of how hard it is. And it just was, I don't want to say it was more simple, but like there's a scene towards the end of Raw where they explain a certain aspect that you didn't really have the piece of that puzzle. But with this movie, uh, Titania, it, it doesn't give you those pieces of the puzzle, at least in terms of first viewing, um, in terms of the, the dialogue. And I, I respect that. So I think that's maybe why I'll rewatch it more because I, you know, it's like a Rubik's Cube, as I mentioned. So that being said, Titanium, again, I personally really liked it. I can definitely see myself revisiting this. And as of right now, the filming of this video, October 1st, 2021, it's one of my favorite movies of the year thus far. And I personally will be giving it a four out of five star rating, which for those like a hot sauce rating, it's a good old Louisiana Pure Crystal hot sauce rating. And I'm sure that this rating will go up higher, guys. But yeah, these are my thoughts on uh, Titanium. What did you guys think about it? Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and all that. Catch you guys later.